The Crimean bridge may be destroyed in the coming months and work is underway to do so. This was reported on air by Kirill Budinov, head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense. Everyone is working on long-range strikes and destruction of the Kirsch bridge. This all requires, let's say, a comprehensive solution. The work is underway, he said. When asked whether the Crimean bridge could disappear in the next few months, the head of the main intelligence directorate assured that there is a chance. As reported in July, Russian occupation forces pulled about 30 barges under the illegally built Crimean bridge to protect it from a possible attack by sea drones. The corresponding photos appeared online. According to the representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, Yevgeny Yerin, Ukraine could hypothetically use Magura sea drones to strike the Crimean bridge. But according to him, this would be a comprehensive solution that is, such an attack would not be limited to the use of sea drones alone. At the same time, work is currently underway to improve the Ukrainian Magura surface drones, in particular in terms of range. The bridge was heavily damaged by Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023, prompting Russia to take steps to further defend the structure. A floating construction crane reportedly was spotted in the Kirsch Strait last month, and the number of barges to protect the bridge from Ukrainian naval drones has increased. Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. Ukraine's navy said in June that destroying the Kirsch Bridge in occupied Crimea would not have the same effect now because Russia barely uses it for military purposes anymore. Vasil Maliuk, head of the security service of Ukraine, did not rule out that Russia may try to use the structure for weapons supplies again after it is fully restored. Chinese and Russian bombers flew together into a U.S. air defense zone in Alaska on July the 24th, prompting U.S. and Canadian forces to intercept and escort them. The clash does not pose a threat of serious escalation, but it is a reminder of China's expanding air power. The Telegraph reports and highlights the high stakes as the Americans rush to develop countermeasures. When two Chinese Xi'an H-6 bombers and two Russian Tu-95 bombers flew into Alaska's air defense zone on July the 24th, U.S. and Canadian Air Force fighter jets scrambled to meet them. The publication noted that interceptions of Russian aircraft are commonplace. Interceptions of Chinese aircraft are rarer and for a very simple reason. When it comes to long-range aviation, the PLAAF is decades behind the Russian or U.S. Air Force. As the publication noted, as Chinese bombers improve, they are flying farther and more frequently into the Pacific Ocean. It is no secret that these long-range sorties are training for war. If China ever makes good on decades of threats to invade Taiwan and the U.S. comes to Taiwan's aid, expect Chinese bombers to target U.S. Navy carrier groups at sea and potentially U.S. Air Force bases throughout the Pacific, the publication wrote. Stopping these bombers will be the top priority for American fighter pilots protecting the U.S. fleet and bases, the publication concluded. On July the 24th, it was reported that the North American Aerospace Defense Command detected and tracked four Russian military aircraft operating in the Alaska Air Defense Identification Zone. The Russian aircraft remained in international airspace and did not enter U.S. or Canadian sovereign airspace. Russian activity in the Alaskan Air Defense Zone occurs regularly and is not considered a threat. The statement said, 